This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Rachel, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Lilith, Idalis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, So, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Devalina, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Camiel, Antonina, Anna, and Valen. If you'd like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks along with it, such as weekly audios and weekly novel readings, the link is in the description. <laughs> hey, hi, how's it going? Good, 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 good. You're home, like, pretty early. You said you'd be here at, like, 7, and you're here at 4, and that's a three-hour difference, and that's a lot of hours. <laughs> so, well, I, I don't really think I would be able to do anything other than explain myself. There's no way I'm gonna, I, I, I feel like I can't talk my way uh, out of this, right? Right, yeah, no, 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 okay, yeah, th no, that makes sense. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, you are right, I, I do look a little bit uh, different, uh, to be fair, you know, different styles for different times, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, I walk around the house in, like, sweatpants and, like, old t-shirts and hoodies and that's all fine. And now <laughs> you are seeing me here with, uh, you know, the nails painted uh, and the chains on and, like, <laughs> the eyeliner. And you're probably like, ah, what is that? <laughs> uh, so I guess... Uh, mm. Yeah, no, let's... I, like, do you mind sitting down? It's not like this is a long thing, but it is probably something that I'll need a, a decent amount of explanation. Okay, good. Glad you haven't freaked out, because I didn't exactly know what your reaction to it would be when you first stepped through the door. <laughs> Let me just uh, turn the ring light off. And turn the DSLR off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, you know how we have been a little bit more extravagant recently? No, no, no. Like, we, we've been able to go out to dinner a little bit more. Uh, remember when that, uh, when that uh, sushi place opened up downtown and it had like a very long list uh, of people to get in on it and I was able to get us a spot and it was pretty expensive and I you were like ha uh, are we sure about this and I was like don't worry about it I got it covered oh that well in addition to my job that you know I have uh, working from home uh, I also have another job working from home now <laughs> I oh god this is this is insane I can't believe I'm saying it. I literally have not told any other person in my life this like at all whatsoever and I don't really think anybody knows and if they do know they haven't told me and that's a terrifying thing to think of um I'm a TikToker. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I, I, I make TikTok videos and then by proxy YouTube videos because TikTok doesn't really pay that much, but it definitely gets you an audience, which is what happened to me. Uh, we'll get there, but yeah, so I'm making pretty solid money off of doing like internet stuff. What kind of internet stuff? Um, hmm. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. I promise. There's no, there's no like promiscuity or anything like that. Not at all, whatsoever. No, sorry, Bob. 
But uh, people, uh, people have p quite possibly uh, described me as an e boy. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. That explains the, the the nails and the chains and the rings and and the, and the 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 eyeliner. There is more to that, I promise. But um, one night I was, I well, I guess actually, in order to get into the how this happened, I have to kind of talk about why this happened. And and they are two different things. Obviously, they're two different things. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm sorry. Um. So you, do you remember like, it was like two months ago and you had that conference for your job and you went to that conference for your job and it was like a, like a, like a weekend thing. And as you know, I like, we have friends and stuff like that and I like them, but I, I don't really like going out super much. So Without having you here, it's, it's just kind of lonely. And I was just sitting there one day and uh, I, I remember I used to be on TikTok back in like the pandemic because I was looking for anything to distract myself from the pandemic. And I was like, huh, I wonder if like some of my favorite creators are on there. I really like this guy named Peyton King. Uh, there's a guy named Ananiya, um Brady Broski, all of them. I was like, oh, I wonder if they're still on there. So I went and I downloaded the app and uh, I got on it. And I'm going to be honest with you. Something just kind of like came over me, if that makes sense. Because I was on my For You page and it brought back this wave of nostalgia and feeling. Uh, and 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 I got a little bit emotional actually, and that's probably not something you would think. You're on TikTok and stuff, but uh, a lot of my for you page is people. A common thread through all of the people that I really really enjoy are they're very confident in expressing themselves through like non stereotypical gender fashion and just like non-stereotypical fashion in general and uh just just completely just being themselves and that that's what really draws me to someone on tiktok that type of personality and uh growing up was weird i because my 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 folks and the people that i grew up around i would not say that they are intolerant they are tolerant of, you know, different genders and different orientations and preferences. But there is a bit of a difference between tolerance and like acceptance. Uh, for example, uh, when my cousin, uh, she came out as Pan, they were cool with it but they never really expressed com com like like overwhelming like active support for it and we've had conversations about how that much that messed her up for her childhood and like trying to go back in the closet in college at the beginning and just trying to just focus on guys and all that stuff uh but a thing about me that I guess I've never told you, and you, let me let me let you know right now, it's not because I don't trust you, and it's not because I I wouldn't tell you. This isn't like a betrayal or anything. I would have told you. It was something that I just I kind of I mean the pandemic has already been the start of it at least was like the the brunt where it was like lockdown was like three years ago, and uh, I just kind of push those thoughts to the back of my mind, really. And a lot of it is childhood stuff. So I push those things to the back of my mind. So it, it's just a thought that hasn't come up in a while. It's not something that I've actively been hiding from you. I promise. Um, I don't necessarily feel comfortable 
in the fashion that I wear. I know that's I know that's like dumb. I I know I know that I know I know I'm not trying to make it sound like it's a big deal, but I I have always in my mind, uh, or even when I was a teenager, wanted to express myself uh, through different mediums of fashion. Like I love the idea of wearing makeup. I think that's amazing. I think it's such an art form that you that 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 expresses a level of creativity that can be just amazing. Of course it can be overdone and underdone and all that stuff, but when when it hits that perfect medium, there is something so truly just sublime about that art form. And I would love to do that on myself. I I if if <laughs> if it was a thing that was like even commonly accepted by people who even were super uh, tolerant uh, but as we all know, even in, in, in middling households, and if we're being honest, even like in more accepting areas, guys wearing makeup isn't really something that is smiled upon. And, uh, and it's funny because even in more accepting spaces that I've been in personally in my like personal life, uh, I, I I don't think I would be able to because I'd be called out as just like a cis het white man doing makeup and like appropriating stuff. And I don't want to come off like that, but uh, I don't know. I, I've I've always felt the, the 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 desire to express myself. Like I don't know. I think. I've, I've, I've not, I think I've worn dresses before on, on TikTok and I've been able to express myself. I've learned how to do makeup kind of not great or whatever, not those amazing things that you see in like actual makeup tutorials where it's like a full cheetah face or like, it's just extravagant design, but I'm, I'm learning the basics. Uh, and these are all things that I would have wanted to do in my adolescence and growing up and in my teenage years, but nobody would have been okay with it. And it's, I, I know because my friends would make fun of things like that, not in a, in a, in a malevol like a malicious way, but they would like just teasingly joke around about how kind of ridiculous it was. And I'd be like, haha, yeah, okay. Uh, so I just never did. And, uh, so going on TikTok and seeing all of these people that had really were and are inspirations to me, I was like, you know what? Uh, why not try it? So, uh, I went down to the thrift store, uh, and I picked out some like really like tattered, old vintage like t-shirts and like some really cool undershirts and and some like fun little jean choices and like really interesting cargos uh that that, that you wouldn't think right uh, some dress pants and i don't know i i decided to do like this thing where i did like <laughs> Like like a like a like a little person who knows nothing about fashion except for like minor things he's seen on TikTok, uh, <laughs> explore starting to like explore the world of that, and I I did like a little fashion show, and uh, surprisingly, really surprisingly actually, there were a lot of people, <laughs> and it was crazy because it was literally my first video. Uh, there were a lot of people who felt in a very similar situation to me, either currently or in the past, and could relate to the situation that I was going through. They were like, hey, yeah, because cause, cause I, I did like a little voiceover and, you know, gave a bit of a brief background that I just told you. And they were like, ah, this is something that I also happened when I, that also happened to me when I was growing up in my hometown. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I did that and it got some traction. And more importantly than getting traction, there were a lot of people who told me that seeing me do this was helping them 
come to a place where they felt more comfortable at least entertaining the idea of expressing themselves like I was. So I was like, okay, let's just uh, keep trying it out. And so I went further and further down the rabbit hole. And eventually, again, I got into more aesthetic things like rings I went to pick up because my, you know, my fingers are huge <laughs> and my hand is huge. So finding rings, we did a, like a little ring shopping live stream. Uh, <laughs> And uh, uh, every week we do the, like a little thrifting live stream that we all do together. It's really, really fun. <laughs> it's it's really, really fun. I Now that you know about it, but again, I, I'm not trying to like presume, but maybe you'd want to come with me. Want to, anyways, that's that's besides the point. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then and then we, we do like makeup tutorials. I try and follow makeup tutorials from makeup gurus that aren't racists or predators or things like that. So... Uh, it's really like, I know that obviously social media isn't a steady career and I, I really do like what I'm doing with, you know, working as a case manager and helping people in that way. But I also really enjoy going on this journey of finding out how I want to express myself going forward. And... <laughs> Maybe not me. Okay, I'm. I I'm not trying to sound like condescend or what's the word pretentious. I uh, I was gonna sound too humble there, not too pretentious. There are people who have said that uh, they they're inspired by what I'm doing. So I don't know, and I feel like um seeing. I, I this is gonna sound so like really really weird, and I hope I don't come off as uh I I don't know how the statement is gonna come off, but specifically there have been a lot of uh cis het white guys in my comments who were like oh this is actually uh really interesting and kind of cool and uh i'm constantly on my channel or in my live streams talking about like social issues and things like that and i feel like seeing someone <laughs> like me try and embrace their feminine side a little bit more or what is traditionally thought of as feminine is something that if other like because tiktok tiktok was one of the home places of like andrew tate and sneeko and all of them and i think if if i'm on there and these 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 straight white young adolescent teen guys see me embracing some, someone who used to be like them embracing these sorts of things and even give it a, ch a, a, a chance. Uh, I think maybe I could do something with it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we went down that rabbit hole and TikTok has been doing really, 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 really well, like surprisingly well. Uh, and I'm just really happy with what I'm doing and it, it makes me happy. Um, it also provides just a safe space because I, I want to do that. I want to provide a, a, a place for everyone to get together, uh, and, and, um, feel comfortable in expressing themselves. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. Cause then I, I went on, I've gone on to YouTube and, um, I've started to doing, uh, okay. This is weird. It's like makeup commentary videos where I will talk about like a certain subject while like trying to emulate a makeup look. Uh, and the fun thing is that <laughs> they never really go according to plan. Like for example, uh, I just, I just did one a little bit ago because it was something that I had wanted to talk about. And I've, I've talked about with you so much. Remember the whole Jonah Hill thing and like the weird texts and how all of the guys are like, no, this is just sound setting boundaries when like, I don't know, wearing a swimsuit when you're a surfer isn't a boundary. You're just preventing someone from living their dream and participating in their profession. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> But, uh, so that Jonah Hill thing really bothered me. So I, I talked about that while in, in, a, in a commentary video while doing some makeup. And I think that commentary is a space on YouTube that doesn't have a lot of, it has two distinct sides and one is like very, very, very like 
liberal and one is very, 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 very conservative. And I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I've seen people in the comments have their minds changed about things like this. And it's, it's really nice. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, that is what I've been doing. Uh, I, I've been doing that for about a couple months and I'm at uh, 300,000 followers on TikTok and I'm at like 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. And that is the, I think that's all of it, honestly. <laughs> Okay, I know, like, I, I did say a lot. That was a lot to digest. That was a lot to process. But you are just staring at me right now. And I don't know. You Like, like right now, you're still doing it. As I'm mentioning you doing it. So I don't know exactly. In fact, like, I, I kind of had an out-of-body experience explaining that to you. But if I can recollect properly you haven't stopped making that face and just looking at me dead in the eyes so uh oh oh my oh my god <laughs> are are you like is this no, 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 I don't want to embarrass you. I don't want to embarrass you at all. If anything, I am the one who should probably be feeling embarrassed that you caught me with a literal ring light in front of a, like behind a DL, des, DLSR, DSLR. See, that's how stuttered, fl flustered, blah. That's how flustered I am. So don't, you, uh, yeah, uh, the fact that you caught me doing that and doing an OOTD. Come on, no, no need to feel embarrassed. This is an embarrassment-free zone. So yeah, just... Just tell me what's on your mind. Really? Now, oh my, wow. Um, are you sure about that? Because gorgeous is a very, a word that holds a, a lot of weight to it. And if you're just gonna, I don't want you to just be throwing that around for no reason. <laughs> that's um really cute <laughs> no it is no no just stop don't hide your face come on i have i have literal like winged eyelashes going on right now come on don't 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 hide your face from me no no it's really it is cute you're if you're allowed to call me gorgeous i'm allowed to call you cute is that why you've been looking at me like this whole time you, did you hear like anything i said was 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 the was the look was i serving a little too hard that <laughs> was that a little distracting perhaps no uh yeah you um thank you i i, I it's not that i didn't want to talk to you about it um and as much as it didn't it didn't really play a prominent role in my life until, as I said, like a couple of months ago. And we didn't start living together until after the pandemic, but um, maybe uh, there's a, a part of me that d didn't feel comfortable with telling you because of how I had been responded to in the past when I had brought up the like idea of doing it to people in my friend groups uh and having it shut down immediately and uh people actually genuinely looking at me sideways for like a, a couple weeks until their memories were overtaken by other things that were more prominent and important than a dude saying huh oh, wouldn't it be cool if i wore makeup i really like the way that <laughs> that looks on 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 him yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was a little bit nervous that you wouldn't be 
okay, fuck, sure, we'll do this. I I like you. I like you a lot. I like you a lot. And I I know we haven't lived together for super long, but I don't know. You're really great. You're really, 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 really great. And I didn't. I, I everything else is who I am. Everything else is who I am. I promise you, I haven't been lying about any aspect of my personal life or or my personality whatsoever. That is all me, genuine, authentic. It's just that this is also a part of me that kind of was laying dormant then I just rediscovered. And uh, bringing that up to you, maybe I, I guess I would was nervous that maybe you wouldn't want to, you know, live with me anymore. And maybe I would ruin my shot at ever having a chance with you as pathetic as that sounds. Maybe I hope it doesn't, but I'm, 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 I get if it does. Really? You know, even just hearing you say it, (laughs) there's a part of me that just doesn't believe you because of how conditioned I've been to think that people aren't into this whole thing. No, I'm I'm just really happy. I guess this I I could I couldn't have possibly imagined a better outcome. I, I think it's amazing. I it makes me really 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 happy. Uh, And I guess part of me wishes that I would have uh, told you earlier, Uh, but I can't, you can't wallow or, or, or think about the past in that way. So I'm glad that we are right here together in this moment. And uh, you found me (laughs) recording an OOTD uh, that I was going to immediately take off and put on something else. You do? I I would I, I I you know if 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 I was in a different position right now and I hadn't just had the girl that I've had a crush on for like 2 years say that she is into me and all of the things that I've just revealed about myself made her even more into me uh and uh, asked me if uh that we she, I we want you, you she if she, if I wanted to date her <laughs> I'm so sorry uh maybe I wouldn't be open to doing it but uh no I would I would Wait, 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 really quickly though. Really, 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 really quickly. This is not, I, I need, because I do need to establish this and I don't think this about you, but I need, I, I need to like ensure because I, I know that this is a thing and, and I've seen it in comments before. This isn't like a fetish thing, right? This isn't, this isn't like, like, like you're fetishizing this. This is, it's because of me expressing myself for who I am and all that stuff, right? It's not because I, I, if, if it was the, op, I'd be. Okay, good. I I just had to make sure. Uh, I would, yeah. No, I won't. I won't change. Do you do you really like it though? Do you like it? Yeah, I love this chain. I love I love I love this one. If you look like really close on it, it has like a little unicorn pendant. Like it's really really small, almost to the point that it looks like just a link in the chain. But I I love it. I love it. It's great. Uh. Yeah, no, I'm just really happy. I'd love to go study with you and I would love to go on a date with you tonight uh, in wearing this. Uh, and I don't know. Um, I guess maybe you were what I needed in that way. You maybe, maybe having a partner by my side that I know really cares about me and appreciates what I who who I am and how I feel uh, on the inside, as corny as that sounds, is, is that's what I needed to finally, you know, put myself out in public. Because I would always make up excuses whenever I'd go to the thrift stores. I'd be like, oh, I'm just buying this for someone else. And usually I, and when I went to buy the makeup, I would, if and they, anyone asked me about it, I'd say, oh, I'm going to get it in for the girlfriend. And they'd be like, oh yeah, for sure. But you know, um, <laughs> I'd, I'd love to, I would, I, I really, really would. Do you have any idea of where you want to go? (laughs) 
<laughs> Are you serious? Do you, do you think we, we should? You know what? In this town, that would for sure, you know, I would love to shock a couple people at the Applebee's. I am 100% down. Uh, could you, uh, could you come over here for a second though? Do you, do you, do you maybe, I don't have any lipstick on, so I wouldn't make any, uh, mess if I maybe kissed you right now. Look at us. Who'd have thought it? Not me. No, yeah. I'm, no, see, here's the thing. I'm still a dork. Absolutely one million percent. No doubt about it. I just... Uh, as as the, the comments have said now, I just know how to slay. <laughs> no, never again. I promise. Never again. I won't. I won't. I won't do it again. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do you want to... Do you want to just uh, get out your work clothes and then uh, we can head out? Yeah, that sounds awesome. But uh, would you mind? Unfortunately, I will. I got to tell you, I do got to finish this TikTok, though. You want to be in it? You do actually want to be in it? Like, for sure? Are we hard launching immediately? Oh, come on, you you are online enough to know exactly what I mean. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I can explain it to you. So soft launching is like kind of discreetly putting in something that doesn't directly allude to the person that you're in a relationship with, but it does allude to the fact that you're in a relationship with a person. Hard launching is directly allude to the 